Many people, when they're looking for affordable housing options, they choose to buy a manufactured home. And when they make that choice, they decide to put them in a manufactured home park. The problem with a lot of manufactured home parks is that you never own the land underneath it. You rent it, and that can be a big problem. So what can you do if you live in a manufactured home park and you rent the space? Is there any way that they can actually own the land that is underneath it? Well, there is. The solution's called a co-op. There is a way for you and your people in your community in your park to do this, and I'm gonna show you that today. So if you happen to live in a manufactured home park and it happens to be owned by a mom and pop business, a lot of times they're selling them out to big companies. And when they sell them out to big companies, they're having to make decisions that nobody should have to make. Years ago, we had lived in another mobile home park and it was not a very good experience at all. The owner didn't take care of the place, that we had no say in anything. The rents went up $50 a year or more every year. Ella Karcher lives on a fixed income in SSK's Beechwood community in Fort Wright. Her lot rent's just gone up 7% and it all adds up to a bill she can't afford. Before I said it made it a decision, am I going to eat today or not? Now it's a matter of, okay, now which medication am I going to take and half so that I can make it stretch out a little bit longer. When it comes to food or medicine, nobody needs to make those kinds of decisions in order to live in affordable housing. But the alternative is a co-op. And I know it sounds like a big undertaking, but there's a nonprofit group called ROC, R-O-C, Resident Owned Communities, that will help you, guide you through the process of you as a community owning the park yourselves. So that way you can have your independence. Hi, my name is Paul Bradley and I'm the president of Rock USA. Rock USA's reason for being is to help homeowners gain security of the land under their homes. As renters of the land, homeowners face three basic risks. Excessive rent increases, poor quality, infrastructure, and the biggest risk of all, community closure where homeowners are displaced. So since 1984, homeowners have been organizing co-ops and purchasing their communities and becoming resident-owned communities. But people want to know, how is it really helpful to you and the people in the community? How is it that Rock could really help you? Working with Rock USA and NeighborWorks Montana has benefited the co-op by leading us through the roles that we need to do to get to where we need to be. And um, Rock USA and both NeighborWorks Montana have been wonderful with any questions that I have guiding us towards websites that we need. Living in a co-op, your rent doesn't go up, so it's affordable for single parents or families that are lower income. Um, and it seems that they take better care of their, they take pride in their trailer court. The cooperative model is a perfect fix. They are a group of homeowners that uh, own their homes but rent the land from a single corporate entity, generally. So they form their own corporation, a cooperative enterprise, to purchase the land, but it's for the benefit of every homeowner member in the community. So in order for you to take the next steps and decide that if you wanna be a co-op or not, you're gonna to have to meet with everybody in the neighborhood and have a community meeting and see if this is something you want to move forward with. Next, that's when you're gonna to want to introduce yourself to Rock, and they're gonna go through these steps. Homeowners that get together in a co-op really face three basic barriers to becoming a resident-owned community. Uh, first is just the opportunity itself uh, that community owners provide to homeowners uh, to go through the process of, of acquiring the property. Two is access to the training and education uh, and, the, and the technical assistance, both pre-purchase as well as post-purchase. And third is access to financing. The idea of a co-op has been around for years. I'm sure you've heard of it in many condominium associations. And so it's not just for people that are living in manufactured home parks. And there's many people that are very satisfied with their cooperative in their manufactured home park. My name is Lori Westendorf and I live in Morningstar Community and I have been here for two years and I am the president on the board of directors. Resident ownership to me means affordable housing and also having a say in our community. Some of the changes that I have seen is more community involvement, feeling like a sense of security. I love living here. Uh, my name is Lisa and I've lived here for three months. Living here has made my life better because I know that I can afford to stay here um, and it's, it's also made it better for my kids. I love what I do here. I love being on the board. 
I love uh, working on things that can improve these people's lives. Um, I don't get along with everyone, but I care about everyone. I think the scariest part when it comes to all this is that you're concerned about the financing. How is it that you're ever gonna be able to afford the kind of money that's needed to buy the whole entire park, even if you do gather together? Well, they have an answer for that too. One of the key assets that Rock USA provides to homeowners in communities, of course, is access to capital. We help low and moderate income homeowners act like deep pocketed investors and allow them to purchase their communities. In order for us to do that, we really have to be aligned with larger institutional lenders. The National Co-op Bank and MetLife represent that to Rock USA Capital. They provide the institutional capital, access to the capital markets that we could not, as a nonprofit alone, access. Um, but their large, uh, those large institutions and that financial strength allows us to serve communities in the best possible way. Well, what about the infrastructure of your park? What if it's in disarray and has been a total mess for years and because your previous owner really didn't take care of things or you have a big corporation that just collects the money and doesn't really do anything for your park and the roads need fixed and the lights need fixed. What avenues is Rock gonna to provide to you so you can get these things fixed prior to being able to purchase the property? Many communities when they're purchased have outstanding health and safety concerns, whether it's sewer, water, or electricity, or uh, really streets and trees. Uh, and uh, each community is equipped with a property conditions report by a civil engineer to schedule those improvements out and address those through their uh, early years of ownership. Uh, and it represents uh, a significant interest among homeowners to get things fixed and get the community operating smoothly. Well, and working with Rock and with NeighborWorks Montana, we have it budgeted in for road repairs. We have a certain amount of money every month that goes towards that. So it's all budgeted to be part of what our payments are. We have made a community center. Um, we've done a lot of improvements. We've, we did a road project improvement. So many, many things and looking forward to many more. Once the homeowners have purchased the community, they're really, their long-term interest is in the affordability and in the quality of the community. So they make investments in physical infrastructure and in the quality of the social environment, but also they're watching their finances, uh, what translates into monthly site fees. So we watch that too. And over the, over the longitudinal study that we're involved in, uh, through a third party, we've documented that rents in resident-owned communities are $25 below market after five years of ownership. What excites me uh, after 10 years of working in states across the country is homeowners everywhere want the same basic thing. They want a decent community that's safe and secure and affordable. And with that, we have a tremendous match. And when homeowners have the opportunity, uh, we have proven time and again that we can provide the uh, access to the resources, the training and education, and the financing to make that possible. And we're excited to continue to grow and support more homeowner groups throughout the country. But I think we also have a responsibility as a cooperative in being different and in making sure that we do take care of our place, that we're responsible with the co-op, and then the community, outsider community's perception of us is changed by that. There is such a sense of community here, especially since we've become community owned. And the best part about living here is I will own my own home um, and I will be able to afford when I'm older to stay here. If you've been watching my channel for some time, you know that affordable housing options has always been a passion of mine. Whether it's for housing the homeless or just helping people become real homeowners where they own the land underneath it. If you, this is something you wanna look into, go ahead and visit the website Rock usa.org. If you want to ask some questions and get some information online, there's actually a virtual summit that's coming up that you can be a part of and it's 100% free. I will go ahead and leave you a link in description. Many members of Rock USA will be there as well. My name is Christina Smallhorn, your real estate whisperer, and I tell you all this because you matter.